<sighs> so there's this thing I did, guys, where I got super jealous. Jealous. Of this other girl who was better than me at something. And uh, let's just say I got rid of the competition. Now nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> I killed her. <laughs> just kidding. I just worked my ass off to be better than her so I can get the recognition of being the best. <laughs> Okay, so let me break down the story about how I was jealous. Jealous. Just one time in my entire life, you know, even someone as great as me, your girl Shantae, gets jelly. Jelly. It happened once. Never again. Just once. And um, so... Now here's the story about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became a prince of a town called Belly. Ah, ah, ah. Now I'm messing. Um, okay, so the story about the first, first and last time I've ever been jealous. Jealous. Other than Beyonce, because we're all jealous of B. Queen B. Now, okay, so... As I mentioned in one of my past videos, my uh, 10 year challenge video, challenge, um, I was a track and field superstar. I was actually named the fastest uh, sprinter where I lived. Yeah, it was actually, track and field was always, always very easy for me. I literally, at first, I never had to try. I just won first place like 99.9% .9 of the time. It was like that one race I got in second place that one time. But honestly, I would get in first place all the time since the first track race, track and field race I ever did was in fifth grade, the first time anyone ever told me to do it. But ever since then, I always got first place and I never tried. Like, I would never take track and field practice seriously because I always won anyway and everyone expected me to win because I was that girl. I was that girl that everyone wanted to be. Everyone wanted to be better than me, and they weren't. I was just good. And I know it's not the good way to think just because you're the best. It doesn't mean you can't be dethroned. It happens. Um, but yeah, I thought I was the shit because I actually was. And like I said, I never took practice seriously. I always joked around in track. Like everyone else busted their ass. I took it upon myself to just like BS all the time. I always won my races. Then the, fast forward a little bit, I got to high school and I thought it was gonna be much of the same thing. You know, I was the skinniest girl on the team. I had a six pack, it was nice and perfect. I was completely 100% fit, you know, and I just, and the people always told me how great I was. So I didn't necessarily have to be cocky because everyone else did it for me. So there was no need for me to talk about how great I was because other people, like there's been times since like the fifth grade, other people would like volunteer me to challenge other people. Like people will be betting money. Like, you know, like, like let's say someone was having a conversation. They'd be like, well, well my girl Shantae, I bet you $10 she can beat your boy Jimmy in the race. I'm just like, what? People, I'm not even joking. People would literally, bet other people that I can beat their friends it's like and like and they never consulted me like I literally had to find it after school like yo Shanti you got a race after school I'm like what what race like yeah I bet so and so that you know 20 bucks that you can beat this person I'm like how are you gonna volunteer me to race your battles hmm? how the people did that all the time no lie people did that all the time and I didn't care because I was me and I knew I was good and without even trying it was actually effortless for me um like you no know, kind of like that natural talent type of thing and um yeah so fast forward to high school and I thought it was gonna be pretty much the same thing I was gonna show up do what I always do do my thing when first place take home the trophy and the medals easy um my first track and field race in high school I came in dead last <laughs> I was in eighth place. I have never, up until that point, ever gotten less than second place. 
and that was like one time. Every other time I always, always came in first, always. And I came in dead last. And it's safe to say that I was blindsided. I was shocked. I was angry. I was confused. I was like, I felt like my whole world was crashing down because like, I mean, I wasn't the best at school. I wasn't the worst. I was okay at school, but I also didn't try very hard. So it wasn't like I couldn't do well. So like track and field was the one thing that I was naturally good at and I did not have to try. Like sports was my thing. Any sport I did, I was good at it. But track and field, I was the best. So it was like, like that was my thing. Like I felt that, like it was mine. It was me. And um, when I lost, like that broke me. Like I don't, I did not realize how important track and field was to me until I lost. Life lessons. So like I felt the way, <laughs> sorry to bring this up Serena, but I felt the way Serena Williams felt when she lost that race against, um, I don't remember her name, but um, that match that just happened last year uh, with the half Asian, half black girl. Um, and she lost that. Like, I felt like that. Like, I felt destroyed, defeated. I honestly felt like my life had no purpose at that point. Because if I wasn't the skinny black girl, the six pack who can run really fast, then who the hell was I? <laughs> I lost that race and I was devastated because I honestly felt like I didn't know who I was anymore. Um... Like I said, I was naturally good at it. I never had to try it. I never took practice seriously. I just showed up and did it. Took home the gold and whatever. Yeah, I, I also remember that my parents came to that first race to cheer me on. And I remember, I do remember, in, like they were in the stands telling all the other parents, they were bragging about me, saying, yeah, that's my girl. Talking about all the medals I won in the past, all the trophies, all the plaques everything I won and I embarrassed them and that was actually the first and only track meet my parents ever came to they never came to another one after that I mean that sucks I mean I didn't feel abandoned but um I did feel some type of way but I actually got over it pretty easily I was just like whatever I didn't care that I didn't care that much but Anyway, so I lost that first race and I was devastated. And the rest of the year, like, I made sure not to come in eighth place. So, so, so I never came in eighth place again, but I was like coming in sixth place and fifth place, seventh place. I think the furthest I got freshman year was like fourth place, I think. I was so angry at the sport. Not, not me. I wasn't even mad at myself. I was so angry at the sport itself that I actually ended up hating track. I just kept dogging track and feel like it's stupid. You just run around in circles. Like that's not real talent anyway. You know, there's no real skill to it. It's just like you gotta run fast as you can for as long as you can and then you just stop. So I actually quit. Um, not freshman year, after freshman year I quit. So I didn't do track sophomore year. And this is where the jealousy part came in. Jealousy. I became so green with envy like I hated the track and field especially the girls because I was running with the girls because I remember on the announcement sophomore year they would keep announcing this one girl some of the other girls too but this one girl mostly they kept announcing her name on the announcement oh she took home first place or second place or whatever she took home the gold or she represented track like and she was that girl the girl that I always was. And in the hallways, everyone would be like, oh, congratulations, you won the race. We got another medal for our school, blah, blah, blah. And I hated that girl. Like, I despised her. Everything about her, I hated. Um, I hate that she was faster than me. I hate that she was taking my gold. She was taking uh, taking away my accomplishment. She was taking. I feel like she was taking everything away from me, and I thought it was not fair. And I despised her. Uh, I was never mean to her because technically she didn't actually do anything to me. But I hated her in secret. So, in a way, I was being fake. I was like smiling her face. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, good job. And then I would like, no, as soon as she turned her back to me, I was just like, I can't 
stand her. Like, I could not stand that girl. Because I felt like that's supposed to be me. And towards the end of the year, I was getting so angry. And I was just like, why am I so angry? And I was like, no, I'm better than her. I'm going to beat her. Um, I'm faster than her. I'm stronger than her. Like, she's not better than me. Because I'm Shantae, and I'm the girl everyone talks about when it comes to track and field. That's my thing. So I joined soft, uh, So I joined again uh, junior year, and it was really just out of envy. And I remember the coach did not pay me any attention at all. Like, I went to track for practice every day. The coach did not pay me no mind, and it made me angrier. And then some way, somehow, halfway through the year... I actually started becoming less angry. I don't know when it was, but it was something where I think I came in like third place or something. And I became less angry all of a sudden. And I was trying harder and harder to practice. And the coach kept ignoring me. Like I was just whatever. Like he was focused on her. Like she was the shining gold star. It was all about her. Everyone, like, she even had a nickname, a Speedy Gonzalez. Everyone called her Speedy. Like, yo, Speedster. You know, like Speedy G, you know, whatever it was. They called her Speedy Gonzalez, you know, the Looney Tunes mouse cartoon thing, the Mexican mouse, whatever. But it wasn't hatred anymore. It was like determination I started feeling. I was like, I actually stopped focusing on her, started focusing on myself. I focused on my breathing, focused on my stamina. Um, even on the way home, sometimes I would just jog home to like practice more. Um, yeah, I just. I started focusing on me and trying to get my body right, my body better to improve myself. So I stopped focusing on her. I never had a coach not pay attention to me before before that. But um, I just focused on me. And then uh, senior year came. And um, <laughs> the very first race of senior year, I won first place. I beat her. She came in second place. And everyone was Shots. What? What the? Everyone was blown away. No one could believe it that I beat her. Like the girl. It's like, wait, that girl? Like me, the girl that no one pays attention to? Her? She beat her? I whooped her. I came in first place. She came in second place. Everyone was shook. Y'all, everybody was shook. The coach um teammates she actually she surprisingly she never gave me a vibe that she was hateful hating or jealous of me at all she really embraced it with open arms like not even joking and so thinking back i felt like silly that i felt that way about her and she didn't feel that way about me or she could have been faking it too who knows but um yeah first race i beat her and I just felt like everything I did the year before, all that training I did, all the extra jogging I did on my own, I just felt like, <sighs> you did it. But the thing was, I had to actually work for it this time. I actually had to put in the work. I didn't just show up and just win. I actually had to try it. I actually had to try harder. And I felt good. And ever since that first track meet, like, first of all, like, some, some, some people thought it was like maybe a fluke, just like one time thing. No, maybe she was off her game. Like, no, like, not everyone was like, like, oh wow, you're amazing, you're the next big thing. Everyone was like, no, she's off her game. And then the next race, I beat her again, and I came in like first place. And then, you no, know, and, and then as the year went on, we did a couple of races. I came in like first and second. I uh, came in first more often. And then there was a time where I just kept coming in first place at one point. I was not coming in second. I was always first place. And then, um, oh, oh, actually, actually, oh, wow. I actually almost forgot to say this. The very first race of the year, the coach, he only put me, like he, like he was only allowing me to be in the 200 meter dash. He was not putting me in the four hundred, uh, um, um, in the four by one. So, so those are the two races I always did. I always did one hundred, two hundred, and the four by one relay. I always did those three races, only ever. And then the coach was not putting me in the one hundred. Like he would, he would not put me in the one hundred meter dash. He put me in like three times the, the year before, and that was it. Um, and junior year, and that was it. But he always 
only put me in a 200 meter dash only and he would never put me in a four by one it was these uh four other girls and i was just like mad a 400 meter dash so that's the race we do one full lap around the whole entire track and i never did 400 before um in an actual race that was a, i never did it before and um I asked the coach if I could do 400 because there were only, um, like there's four girls for both teams could be on race because it's eight lanes. And those only three of our girls were doing it. Um, um, I don't remember what happened to the other girl, but um, there was like just three girls on our team doing it and four girls from the other team. And I thought, wait, I can ask the coach if I can um, you know, do the 400 minute dash. You know, Maybe this will also help me be better at the 100. And the coach, he honestly was not trying to let me race. He was, because like, he was just like, whatever. Like he, he was not, like he, he was actually about to say no. And I just kept talking and talking saying, oh, just let me try. Let me do it. And I was trying to convince him to let me do it. And I was like, well, I mean, technically, I mean, there, four girls can run. There's only three girls running today. So I, sh no, I can run. Like, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, that just gets one more person on our team on the board. And then he was just like, sure, whatever. Like, he, 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 he let me, like, he literally just signed me up at the last second. He did not want to do it. And I won that race. And that was the first time I ever did the 400 meter dash and I won. Just like that. And I felt, oh my gosh, there was this weight lifted because he, because like he didn't believe in me. He didn't want me to do it. And honestly, he had no reason to believe me. I did not show him that I wanted to you know the previous, um, like just fresh me or I did not show him that I wanted to be there and work hard to achieve something because I was just like, I'm I'm the best, you know, I'm I'm the sh I'm just gonna show up and win. Junior year, you know, I wasn't the fastest girl on the team. I don't think I was even the second fastest. Like I think I was arguably the second or third fastest girl, arguably, maybe fourth. I mean, it, it depends on how you look at it. But like man, y'all don't know. Like, I felt like I redeemed myself. I felt so good because I proved him wrong. Because he was not trying to give me no play. No no race time. And um, I won. The first time I ever did a 400 meter dash, I won first place. Not just for my team, my, uh, my school. Like, out of all eight girls that were running, I won first place. Um, and then ever since that, yeah, the coach started paying a little extra attention to me. All of a sudden, I was in the 100 meter dash, winning first place. Um, I was in the 4 by one He put me last. Being last in the 4 by one is an honor. It's like joy from inside out. It's just like this ball of just emotion, joy. And uh, that was like the greatest, it's like one of the greatest feelings I've ever felt in my life. Still to this day. One, I mean, not the greatest, but one of the greatest feelings I've ever felt, ever. And yeah, the coach started paying attention to me. Um, he put me in a 400 meter dash, just by myself running around one lap, the four by uh, the four by four. So four people run one lap each. And I was always put last, sometimes I was put first, but I was always put last, last because I was taking the team home and I did it every time. I always took the team home, yes! First place, baby, like, like we would be in like, um, like I don't know, sixth place or seventh place or fifth place, and like when the baton got to me, you know, I was still carrying that spot, fifth place, sixth place, fourth place, third place, whatever place it was, I was still carrying that spot. Like I, w I'm not good, um, at pacing myself in the long run in the longer races. But every 100% of the time, every time I hit that last 100 meter dash, I booked it. Every time, everyone knew. It didn't matter if I was in eighth place in the 400 meter dash. Once I stepped on that 100, on, the, on that 300 meter mark, I was gone. Every single time, everyone knew. <laughs> Oh, my God! 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 O
I have an amazing kick is what they call it. So it's like a kick. It's like, yeah, so at that last 100 meter dash, every time, I came from fifth place to first place. I came from seventh place to first. I came from third to first. I came from eighth to first. No matter what place the baton was giving me to, but as soon as I get to that 300 meter mark, gone. Absolutely, 100% of the time. I had an amazing kick, y'all. Amazing. I wish I got I wish I got all my races on camera though. That was me. Oh, let's see my medals. So these are some of my medals, y'all. Most of them are gold. Just like uh I think two of them are, are silver. Got my trophies. Got my trophies, y'all. And like I mentioned in another video, my sister actually broke this because she was mad at me for some odd reason. She was like seven at the time. I was like 16 or whatever. Um, she, she, she did not get punished for it. She should have. She did not get punished. She broke the hand and she broke the leg. So, yeah, I don't, don't have no idea where it's at. So, I got this lady. Ow! And I got this one. This is my favorite trophy of all the ones I got. I love this one. And I also got a plaque somewhere there's a whole plaque they put on it um that I was the fastest in my district for 100 200 uh four by one and the four by four because I actually became the fastest sprinter uh, where I live so <coughs> um but yeah so that's um my whole jealousy story jealousy where this girl made me jealous for just being awesome as she was. She was just being her amazing self. And I was in my feelings hating on the girl for no good reason. No one likes a hater. And uh, it taught me something that, like I said, this, honestly, I've never really been jealous. Jealous. Other than that one time. Because that one time actually taught me something that I still carry today. Like, there's no reason for me to be jealous. Jealous that someone's accomplishing something or someone doing something better than I can because I need to look at myself and see what I am not doing and why I'm not at that level or why I'm not this person equal or why I'm not better than that person. There's obviously something that I'm not doing to get me there. And ever since that, like I said, I've never really been jealous, jealous. of anyone for anything else ever. That's like, honestly, truthfully, if I'm being honest, honestly, it was probably the first and last time I've ever been actually jealous, like actually envious, envious. of someone else. Um, you know, a little green eye monster action. <laughs> um, yeah, so guys, you don't need to be jealous, jealous. of anyone except Beyonce because you know, she's Queen Bay. But other than her, like you really don't need to be jealous. Jealous. If you feel like someone has something you don't and you want it, you just need to work a lot harder to get there. And don't always compare yourself to other people. You need to compare yourself to yourself. You need to be on your own path and your own journey. And you need to achieve your goals at your own time. You can use someone as a benchmark. Like, okay, this person did this in three years. Like, maybe I'm going to try to do it in two. You know what I mean? Like, you need to work on you and achieve where you need to be at your own time. Well, that's it for my uh, preachy, preachy, speechy thingy. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> well, so catch you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, um, and make sure you do leave comments. Tell me about a time that you guys have been jealous of someone. Um, even if it was like a family member, a friend, um... Whoever it was, and did you ever get over, or how did you actually get over a uh, time when you were actually jealous? And don't forget to share this video. No, spread the word. Don't be jealous. Jealous. No one likes a hater. Hater. <laughs> Later. <laughs>